Hello and welcome back to another day in the arena. It's me, it's CGB. Today in the arena, Grixis Adventures. This deck comes to us from the magic.gg slash deck lists page where they post lists that went 6-0 or better in Platinum through Mythic best of three standard. And this one, I want to know if it's good in best of one. This is a really cool Grixis control list that uses Ozure, Pak Patik, Deepest Epoch. And when you cast an adventure spell instant, 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 only instant. I've never messed this up before. Never been a problem. But CGB, didn't one time you cast a sorcery thinking it would... No questions. Anyway, uh, when you cast an instant adventure side, it has rebound. And then on your following upkeep, you can cast the creature side for free, which is the cool combo with this card and adventure cards that we're going to attempt to pull off today. Because we have some red in the deck, we're also getting to run Decadent Dragon. And there's running the Spell Scorn Coven, which I didn't run in my version of the deck that was Demir. It has a little bit of a divide by zero vibe. And then the 2 3 flyer makes the opponent discard. I can see how that could be good and interesting there are confounding riddles in this deck that's like a question there are also the horn locked whale which i tried very hard to make happen pick lock prankster is an impulse type effect of choice filling graveyard also getting more and more of the spells we need four siphon insights our opponent really likes the opponent's cards a lot, but it makes sense because if you're using Prankster a lot, putting it in the graveyard can get you some graveyard value, which otherwise the deck doesn't do much with. It's got Chandra's as finishers. And it's got considers for card advantage and as a sideboard. So if you are a best of three gamer and you want to play the sideboard, go for it. If you're a best of one gamer, be wary as you hit craft all because there's a Jin Gitaxis Progress Tyrant hiding down here. And we know how the dojo feels about that card. So let's dive in. Let the adventurous nonsense begin. This hand has a lot of what we need. Should be good to go. If this deck is capable of winning games, a hand like this should do it. I was thinking about playing the reef to consider right away. We'll see. I don't think I need to under these uh, current circumstances. Generous visitor in response. I guess we'll make the opponent get rid of their Kami and set them back. Skrell, gross. Hmm. Guess we'll use the counter spell this turn. They seem a they seem constrained on mana. That should help keep them from hitting more land drops, countering the spirited companion. Another edict. That's pretty good. I guess we'll wait and see what they put on the stack. Beautiful. Sack something. In response. Love this. Never didn't have it. And Michiko's with no creatures. That that's that's when I know I'm dunking on this deck. Michiko's no buffs. All right, uh, let's take a riddle and hold that open for their next card. But we also have Siphon Insight if they don't play something worth countering. Hmm, do I just play the whale? Let's play the whale. I know we're supposed to save the whale, but I'm going to cast the whale. Sure. Pay up. So they had to draw land there to make that play. A little lucky for them. Hmm. 
Not liking that. Few too many lands. We're running low on gasoline. Take a hit. Might be a bigger hit in the near future. Our opponent slightly ahead, but out of gas themselves. Let's see what we can find. We got a spirited companion. <laughs> nice. <laughs> All right. Consider. I'll take a lightning strike. Let's just kill this now. We might have tried to ambush there. It was tempting. Oh, yeah, they get back the commies. I always forget this as an enchantment creature. At least they don't grow the portrait. Lightning strike off the top. I guess we'll try to hold that for a better opportunity than the last one. Ooh, the dragon. Like that. Another one. And an enchantment as well. Nice. That's so good for you. Take the companion. So if the ossification dies somehow, nobody knows how. Ooh, is that an ossification for me? And I have a basic? Oh my. <laughs> What's happening? Oh, these ones don't color fix. I can't cast either of these. No color fix. That's great. Love that for me. Oh, wait. I should uh, see if I can hit a plane. So that's, that's the play, right? Oh! Best magic player alive. All right, just don't draw an enchantment. One time, no enchantment. Oh! I'm amazing. <laughs> do I take the one to cast the audacity? Absolutely I do. Do I attack with both? Absolutely I do. Two turn clock. If they don't draw an enchantment, they're gonna get rolled. Yep, bring it out. Let's do it some more. Endless adventure value, that's what it's all about. Ooh, that is kind of a counter spell. It's not going to stop them, though. It's just going to give them more triggers. Let's just play out the blocker. Had enough? They've had enough! That was surprisingly adventurously effective. On the draw. Hmm. I kind of have red mana. I kind of do. Let's see what happens. Chandra in the opener. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, well. Yeah, let's uh, play the reef. See if the opponent makes me lightning strike something or not. No, they do not. Might actually cycle this Xander's Lounge if we draw too many lands. Three mana does. Gix! What a lightning strikeable creature that is. Bang! Now they might shielded me for this. Of course they do. Okay, got to figure out how to deal with that. We have a few card draw effects in our deck.
Maybe I'm supposed to let them draw one from that Gix. Or I just play differently, right? All right, get rid of the Trespasser. Don't let him fall too far behind. We're almost to Chandra. There's Otawara, which we might have to use. Do we want to kill the foundry or do we want to bounce the shieldred? Because we can strike the foundry here. Then we can drop this. Eh, I think it's better to bounce the shieldred. They're playing around counter spells. We'll punish them a little. There's a dragon. All right. Uh, can they kill this? Maybe. Maybe. We should save it to uh, double lightning strike the shieldred. So this turn what we should do is steal some things from them and consider. I'll go ahead and consider now while we can get a mana of any color that we want. That's really good. All right, pass. Let's see what they do. Maybe I don't have to use Chandra lightning strike. Another counter spell. What, you don't have four? Casual four to pay? All right, lots of removal spells. That's what this hand reads. No underdogs. Siphon. Okay, patience. We could double siphon them with the Chandra. Um, I think we stay patient. They still have these boundaries to pressure Chandra. They probably have Shieldred's Edict, which we can draw out with the dragon. Um, yeah, there's some things we can do still. <laughs> Another Shieldred. They know only one thing and it's disgusting. At least we know we can cast their spells. Let's see what we get. Cut down. All right. Resolves. Sleeper. That is cuttable. Siphon your insight. Ooh, fun. Sheldred might fall to Sheldred's own Sheldred's own edict. I mean, I'm having fun now. But how do we want to play this turn? They're tapped out. If I go for a dragon, they'll probably go for the throat and punch me with a foundry. I would like to do things differently. Let's pass. We are control deck. Control deck can wait. So tricky part is waiting for the plus one plus one on the foundry before we lightning strike it. If they don't do it, we fall to six, but that's okay. Then we deploy something like the graveyard glutton. So they are really in the tank on this game of chicken. Will they attempt to increase the power of their foundry or not? They have to get into combat first before they can do anything. I think what tips the scales that you do try this is the Siphon Insight, because if you don't hit me for very much, the game's just going to keep getting away from you if you let me just use my mana on the Siphon Insight. Zap. Lightning Strike. All right, pick lock. More Fey. Do we want the coven? I think I do. I think I do want the coven. 
All right. If we expect them to have removal, the trespasser is great. Nom, nom, nom. Because they have to pay ward cost. And with Coven, uh, with Take It Back, they pay the ward, and then you bounce the removal spell. It's so mean. That is a good solution. Hmm. Is bouncing it good? Yeah, it is. Make them use their mana again. And then Chandra can clean up. <sighs> Nobody knows Dominaria Shadow. <laughs> Haven't you ever heard of personal space? Stopping tyrants like you is Pew pew. <laughs> and now we have a consider. So we get double uh, consider to rebuild our hand. Not blitzing. Interesting. Good little game we're having here. All right. Uh, let's consider. Now or never. I think their priority hold is a cut down, so that's what we're going to assume they have for a while. Opponent? Do you like to cut down your own creature in response to my considers? Be a pretty sus play. Nope. Ha. Ha. Shuffler, are you fine? A card we can discard for this bitter triumph is nice. All right, siphon some insight. We're gonna steal so many cards from you. It's gonna be great. Uh, yeah, go for the throat. Evolve sleeper or land, I'll take the land. I don't want no evolve sleeper. Boring. Let's make him discard. They might spend two cards on this if they also cast the cut down. Go for the throat. Gone. Ah, the dragon is lurking. Gix's command, two counters, return two cards. Okay, they're trying to stay in this game from a value perspective. It's a ripped underdog you got there. And they did have another Shieldred. That is unfortunate. Face? Nah, come on now, I'm not taking that. Ignoring Chandra. The disrespect. <laughs> Oopsie. All right. Now what? We've got the bitter triumph to take on the Shieldred. We can cast this dragon. We can cast this prankster. Do we also want to excel cards to hit a spell? I do. I do. Consider and Lightning Strike, which get copied. Let's do Consider now. Yes! And I guess a land I can play? Nah. 
Nah. 24 cards to go. There's a land I can play. Two, three, four. All right, let's leave up the Murex just in case they go for like Liliana. It's not hurting our mana too bad. Throat removal. Could counter it. They don't have another counter. No, they don't have another removal, I think. So make them pay four. And make them pay four. No, don't pay, you maniac! There's two of them! I tried to warn him. You can't say I didn't warn him. <laughs> and then the shame scoop. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, it was a good battle, but man, when it ends in a shame scoop. <laughs> we are on the play with removal. I love it. I'm happy already. It's everything that warms my cold, dark Grix's heart. Did we find it? Have we found mono red? Oh, yes, we have. Oh, yes, we have. Well, the shooting gallery is open. Bring it on. Monastery Swift Spear. Any other, you know, lands? Yeah. <laughs> That's nice for you. Um, hmm. I guess the strike is the way to be. But two Kimanos. Come on, we're not going to beat two Kimanos, are we? I don't think so. I do want to slam this next turn, so let's play the tap land. And we'll see if the opponent is so good at magic that they go land Godric on curve like a boss. Uh, they got a chick. Okay. I don't care really about which of these dies. I'll let you choose. Okay, no monstrous rage at this point. Another swift spear. I have a creature. I'm sure you can't do anything about that. It just gets exiled. Oh, they can't do anything about that. Is it my birthday? Okay, that has to go. Nice, no lightning strike. Hey, sometimes. So what are we discarding? Let's consider. Oh, yes. Please and thank you. So we're probably discarding the confounding riddle to the bitter triumph. All right. I think we just want to do all this stuff while we can, though. Probably should have been the etching, but here we are. Epicur. Fall to 10. No fear. Here comes the rage. You gotta keep the life total up. Bang. Triggers. We go to five though. Feels bad. I mean, that's a lot of value, and we still might die. Sure. 
Land off the top. Free the Fey. Can we find something good? We can whiff. We can do that. <laughs> well, I guess I'm not attacking. What do we need to find? We need more confounding riddles. That is our quote life gain in the deck. Okay, great. Chandra, let's go. You know what's great at dispelling darkness? A blazing inferno. You're lucky this is a warning shot. All right, get me a shieldred. I don't have a shieldred. I'm just kidding. Uh, this card's pretty good though. They don't have much mana, but we could also just get the Chandra. And if we get a land, we go crazy. We don't have a land right now. I'm taking the Coven. Give me another four. Let's find those riddles. No riddle yet. Let's keep going with the Prankster. We can kill the Chandra with the attack. And we hold. Four health. Godric, heck no, we're not doing that. No way. <laughs> Confound it. Where is it? I guess we'll keep the pranksters going. Eventually, we'll go through the whole deck. It is kind of wild how far these things go. Okay, I get a Siphon Insight. This will make them discard the Godric. Bitter Triumph is the draw. Let's start the beating. Let's go. 16. Hit for six next turn, hit for 10 with the Reef the next turn, and it's over. But we've got to stay alive. When I'm passing, let's keep looking for confounding. There it is. We got it. All right. All I can do now by casting more spells is blow it, so let's be patient. All right, no shark attack this turn, but probably next turn. If the opponent just holds up all mana, waiting for me to tap out to use it, maybe we don't. We can wait an extra turn if we have to. It looks like they're going to wait. They are going to hold. Let's see if we can swindle a burn spell. A lightning strike would do it. Bingo. So this will have rebound? <laughs> Not that that's important. Just hold up the riddle. Take a Swifty. Cast a Swifty. Send the team. Drop them to two. Strike them in the face. <laughs> mono red thwarted. I love this deck. It beats mono red. It's perfect in every way. <laughs>